So the other night, after a day of uh, uh, close collaboration with, with Bob Stewart, I realized in the middle of the night, 4, 4.30, that something extraordinarily important had happened. And that was that I saw something that I've been thinking about for 20 years, if not 34, 35 years, about high resolution audio and our ability to connect. And I realized that that ability to connect with the great public, to share great experiences and great music with the world, the universe, I had just seen the answer and it was a green light on uh, an MQA enabled DAC. And, and I was so excited I couldn't go back to sleep. And this, this ability to, to share our work has been so deeply compromised in the last 15, 20 years, 30, 35 years, that I had almost given up. I was deeply impressed by the performance of MQA. I'm deeply impressed with the technology, the foundational technology. I'm deeply impressed that uh, MQA and, and Bob have been able to get this technology out and have it accepted, have the message understood, even in its simplest statement. So I'm, I'm, I'm sold. I think this is, uh, this is the future. I first heard MQA when, when Bob Stewart came to Montreal to our faculty at McGill University at the Schulich School of Music and uh, played music to my close colleague Wiesel Wojcik and myself. And we, we came to this with, with great skepticism. And I think we reserve scientific skepticism, but as as uh, musicians and as listeners, we were immediately impressed by the technology and as the day wore on, more and more impressed with the sound. And the feeling of getting back to listening to real music. At that time, we listened to some recordings that, that, that I had made uh, in, in Nashville. And uh, I heard some things that, uh, I've been playing these in presentation for some years, and I heard some things that I hadn't heard since the original sessions and, and may never have heard. I want to hear it all. I want to hear musicians play out of tune. I want to hear um, uh, the music in the room as it was performed in the room. I think that that's... My job, as I perceive it, is transparency to uh, artist intent. Actually, artist expression, whether they intended or not. I want to hear detail, and I did, and continue to be uh, thrilled with, uh, with what I'm hearing. On the recordings that I've, I've learned to remember and, and and love and refer to it, there is a, a complexity, an ambiguity in playback, often an ambiguity in playback, where I will over months, years of listening to a, a really great, a worthwhile recording, I'll hear something slightly different every time. And that that I think is indicative of great detail. And uh, it happened most often on vinyl, listening to orchestral vinyl. Uh, and I'd kind of given up. In fact, I've kind of, for the past seven years, I'd given up on doing any more recording because it, it seemed to be pointless. So um, 
this gives me a reason to go back in the studio. MQA will have a tremendous impact on the music industry. What that impact could be is uh, unimaginable. If, if I had to start somewhere, I'd say that we as uh, music creators, I don't like to use the term creators, but music producers can hope to hear their most subtle ideas uh, represented to their audience. To be able to make uh, small variations in, in, uh, in arrangement and performance and in mixing and, and timbral balance and know that what we hear is now heard by our audience, it's like taking the veil off.